Hi, welcome to my channel, Blue Lady Thrifting. Please like, share, and subscribe. Today we're going to be talking about the purses and jewelry that I got at the way station. Everything was half off because the day I decided to visit was half off day, and I was very pleased with that. We're going to start with the jewelry. I got these bingo bracelets, um, set of three for um, $2. Actually, it was half off, so $1. Um, these bangles are gold with the um, red and yellow beads, and if they were a name brand like Alex and Annie, they would fetch a lot more money, but I can probably expect maybe $5 for this pair. And then this one over here was a, it doesn't have any markings on it, but it's a silver color with the the links there and I ex would expect to get about three to five dollars for those and then this right here I'm not positive how much I paid for it but it was half off so it couldn't have been that much um, lamp work glass leaf or sh possibly shell um, ribbon necklace I can expect um, five to twenty dollars for the necklace and for the earrings so I can sell those separately at five to $20 each or I could put them together as a set but it looks like some hand-blown art glass there and there's the earrings and then this lot next to it I paid three dollars for it um, I got the pendants right there the art glass pendants yep that's Molly playing with her bone in the background um, these art glass pendants, I can expect um, about five to ten dollars each for. And then the multi bead flower necklace bracelet and earring set, I can expect about fifteen dollars for this set. So it's got the bracelet with the little flower, the beads to make to look like flowers, and then the dangly earrings and the necklace so that was all in one lot together and then all of these pieces were in a lot together for um two dollars and fifty cents and these fabric covered cufflinks if i sold them i could probably get about five dollars each for them but they will probably go to my husband for father's day then right next to them or some stainless um, cufflinks. And I could probably expect about $10 for these, but these are actually going to go to my son since they are monogrammed with his first initial. Then the last pair of cufflinks were these gold signet cufflinks, and I think I can expect about $25 for these. I couldn't find the specific ones because I couldn't really tell what this markings were but similar ones sell for about that then this over here I also had to look up this is a belt tip um, and keeper set so I can expect about five to fifteen dollars for these um, so there's the belt loop keeper and then that would go at the end of the belt that set right there then the last set was this over here, this vintage collar tip lapel button um, western wear. It's got a it's got a cowboy hat on it with like a rhinestone cowboy, and I looked up the patent number. There's a patent number on the back, and it's a collar tip, but there's only one unfortunately, and you would need two. So I'm going to sell these two together, and this is a tie tack. This uh. This cowboy hat tie tack and the back did come off so I'm going to have to fix that but I'm going to sell those together and either someone's going to like the la, the tie tack or someone has lost their collar tip and needs a new one so probably put those together for about ten to twenty dollars and that was it for the jewelry I'm not a big jewelry person but it was half off day so I picked up some jewelry then I'm also not really a purse person, so my friend helped me pick out the purses, 
And I guess we will start with the Tommy Hilfiger. The Tommy Hilfiger I got for $10, and I can expect about $35 for it. It's a crossbody, and it's brand new with the tags, with the tags on it. So about $35 for that. I probably won't keep it because I'm not a purse person, but it's blue. Okay, and then my friend told me to pick up the sack purses. And if you look up the sack purses online just to buy them new, they um, they do cost a pretty penny. But the used ones for resale don't really resell for that much. And I believe I paid about $4 each for these. And they would sell for about 10 to 20 Actually, if it was $4, I probably only paid $2. So that's a pretty good deal. $2 each, and they would sell for about $10 to $20 each. And I got the one black one, and then the uh, the cream ones. They're uh, two different ones. One's a little bit bigger than the other. Okay, and then the Donna Sharp. It is brand new with the tags, and I paid $4 for it, and it's got its markings in there, and I could expect about $20 to $30 for this. It is also brand new with the tags. Okay, then this back here is a Liz Claiborne satchel computer -ness, and it came with its um, com padded computer tote and it is brand new with the tags see the tags there and inside let's see how much did I pay for this one I paid seven dollars and fifty cents for it and um, people are asking anywhere between fifty and a hundred and twenty five dollars for it but if you look it up on um, if you look it up online to buy it new you can get it for um forty dollars so this one I'm probably going to only sell for about twenty to thirty dollars even though it's brand new that's how much it would go for and then this Calvin Klein the white and black um, Calvin Klein I paid let's see I paid ten dollars for it and it would sell for about $25 to $35. It's got the magnetic or the clippy in there and the markings. So it's not brand new with tags, but even used, it would still sell. Then the last one is the Kenneth Cole one. And the Kenneth Cole one is also used, doesn't have um, new tags, um, but I paid $4 for it. And if you watched the video yesterday, the game we were playing, which um, purse would sell, resell for the most, it is the Kenneth Cole. The Kenneth Cole would be the winner. And it would sell for about $70 to $80. So Kenneth Cole purse is the winner. Nice leather pebbled with its markings and everything. So that was everything for the purses and the jewelry that I found at the way station half off everything and you can find all of my items soon on eBay um, blue lady thrifting on eBay and I thank you for watching